सो हेलो वेलकम बैक विथ न्यू गेमिंग रोम इन टूडेज वीडियो वी हैव अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड हाईली कस्टमाइज रोम द डिवाइस इज क्वाइट पावरफुल बट इट डजेंट क्वाइट डिलीवर द परफॉर्मेंस इट डिजर्व सो टू टेक दिस परफॉर्मेंस फॉरवर्ड दे विल इंस्टॉल अ कस्टम रोम इन इट एंड एन्जॉय नेक्स्ट लेवल परफॉर्मेंस I have also recorded games in it, but I haven't found much hitting issue yet. Nor is there any bug in it. The performance is quite good according to this room. I have also done a lot of hardcore gaming, in which the minimum FPS was 65. But at some places I saw it giving very low FPS. Like when I played the game with BZMI event, then I went to Yellow Circle, so I found there that this room was heated and a bit. It was giving me around 52 fps only so now you can see this the android version is 13 and the kernel is next kernel which is upstreamed up to 4.19.268 however if you want to increase the performance further then you can increase its performance by installing another kernel or by installing thermal profiles its status bar is very beautiful and extra things have also been added and some things have also disappeared from here like uh, here you get to see the direct sound enhancer and uh, talking about uh, dolby atmos its sound quality is very good due to dolby atmos as well as direct sound enhancer in uh, earlier custom rooms uh, inbuilt dolby atmos didn't come but now all the rooms have of a13 have support for dolby atmos Uh, due to which the sound uh, problem has gone away and the plus point is that if it is now coming with the MIUI camera which also has 48 megapixels options so now the difference which was a little too much that uh, to will go away by installing this room you will get very good battery backup with the thermal profiles so simply now i'm going to open the camera and now you can see this there are the option of pro video photo portrait and more and more has the 48 megapixel options now you can see this and whenever you are going to click the picture in 48 megapixels so it means it will give you 48 megapixels it means it's not fake it's a real you can see the size of picture also this is the size of picture like 8.9 megabyte so it will support to 8 to 12 mb so it means it is giving the real 48 megapixels of picture so moving forward and i'm now i'm going to show you that device is set in it passed or not so in the play store in settings and now you can see this the device is not certified so it means you have to install the magic then after you have to install the magic universal safety net fixer then you will get the safety net passed and also you have to install the agni magic module so this module will provide a 90 fps gameplay because uh, instead of this you can't do anything so this is the one only one options to get the 90 fps in your device again moving forward and checking that the battery has a thermal profile supports or not so now you can see this battery has also a thermal profile so now for preferred gaming you should have to select the thermal profile for different type of application like if you are uh, using thermal profile for benchmark application so you had a, would have to uh, click on the benchmark and if you are playing the game so you would have to uh, click on the gaming thermal profile so now let's go to the section of blessify and uh, which is our customization section so in this you will be able to see all types of customizations here you are getting to see lock screen network traffic monitor and many other customizations which you do in daily life but here you do not get to see options like uh, unlock 90 fps and uh, netflix spoof and also unlimited photo stories but apart from this there are all the options which come in daily use so this was the part of customization now i'm moving for the thermal profiles and uh, geekbench 5 and under two version line scores so uh, i computed the all three applications benchmark scores like uh, cpu thermal throttling under two and geekbench 5 so the performance of both three applications is a top to the notch but uh, let's list uh, 
uh, you can see the no CPU thermal throttling is uh, here and uh, you can also see the runtime is 5 minutes and the maximum GIPS is 3,37,706 GIPS which is also top notch and uh, you can see the average is also the top notch performance like 3,32,302 uh, GIPS which is also good and minimum is also good like you can see this the minimum is 3,20,145 GIPS so impressive and uh, top notch performance is here of cpu thermal throttling now moving forward the next that is the uh, geekbench 5 so now you can see the uh, geekbench 5 score that is the geekbench 5 score is single core score is 798 and the multi core score is 2499 and the Antutu score is 6,67,566 so moving for the gaming part uh, that I played the uh, game on 90 FPS. So now I'm moving for the gameplay part. This is the part of TDM and uh, in this TDM you will get constantly at least uh, 85 to 90 FPS approx but uh, uh, let's check the uh, real FPS in classic. No mercy. Enemy down. Uh, so now we are in a real classic match and now you can see uh, we are also in a circle yellow circle and the APS is 67 65 and the 60 minimum and here uh, I am also facing some lag and uh, some glitches also because <laughs> some items I can't pick from here and uh, so a little I found an enemy there is an enemy let me hit them So the FPS was uh, a minimum 60 FPS on 90 when you are rushing somewhere and when you are playing the hardcore gameplay. So that is all from my side and thank you for watching this video and please make sure to like, subscribe and comment down your name and uh, whatever you want.